But, I mean, actually, playing some of these songs that were sort of recorded, you know, in the 50s, it takes me back, actually. I mean, in the old days, when we used to have the dances, they were very romantic, weren't they? We used to play, we used to play at the, the Sedgley Blind Institute uh, in Cowsley, and we also we used to do gigs at, it's politically incorrect to say this now, but we used to do gigs at the Deaf and Dumb Centre. And uh, these people couldn't hear them, but they used to still have dances, you know, with a little record player on the stage. And uh, I remember I was doing a hand jive once at this Deaf and Dumb Centre, and this one bloke wouldn't fetch me an ice cream. He misunderstood. <laughs> And there was this, there was this, the, the music was playing and there was this, these deaf and dumb boys and girls around and I thought I'll have a dance with the one, so I went, sent to the one girl, and she, she nodded, you know, so we started dancing around the floor and we were sort of doing sign language, you know, all right. And we'd gone around the floor a few times and this bloke said, how long are you going to be in Mary? She said, how oh, long trying to get rid of this deaf and dumb bloke here? <laughs> At the Adelphi Ballroom in West Bromwich, which was very nice actually. <coughs> because my mum, my mum never liked any of the girlfriends that I had. Every time I took a girl home, she didn't like her. Uh, you know, either she, she, she just wanted her type. She always criticised me. Nobody was good enough for me in my mum's eyes, you know. And one girl I met at the Adelphi, I thought she's just like my mum. She spoke with a Blackheath black accent, about the same build, same hairstyle. I thought mum will like her, and I took her back home to meet my mum. And my dad didn't like her. 